Tesla has just pulled the curtain back on its 2026 super sodium ion battery tests. And even though Elon Musk is keeping most of the details under wraps, leaks coming out of Fremont tell a story that could change the future of electric vehicles forever. According to those insiders, this brand new chemistry has the power to completely crush today's lithium ion cells in every single category that matters. We are talking about range, charging speed, battery life, safety, and even production costs. For years, people have wondered what the next big leap in electric vehicles would be, and this might just be it. And if the rumors are true, the very first car to benefit from this new battery could be the long-awaited Tesla Model 2. But how real is this breakthrough? Could sodium ion chemistry really make electric cars cheaper than gas cars for the very first time? And most importantly, what does it mean for regular drivers like you who care about performance, reliability, and the total cost of ownership? That is exactly what we are going to break down together in today's video. You are watching Torque Element, where Tesla news comes with real numbers, straight analysis, and none of the fluff you get elsewhere. If you want to stay ahead of the curve, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Help us push past 2,000 subscribers so we can keep delivering the kind of Tesla coverage that the big channels will not touch. So let's dive in. What makes Tesla's 2026 sodium ion chemistry so different from everything we have seen before? Now, sodium ion batteries are not brand new. In fact, scientists and researchers have been exploring them for years. But what Tesla is testing for 2026 is operating on another level entirely. Instead of the 250 to 270 watt-hours per kilogram that you typically see from today's best lithium-ion NCM cells, Tesla's sodium-ion packs are expected to deliver somewhere around 280 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram. That jump may not sound massive when you just hear the numbers, but in practice it changes everything. It means more miles out of the same sized pack, and that is a critical factor for making smaller, affordable cars like the Model 2 practical for real-world use. Longevity is where the real shocker comes in. Current lithium-ion packs usually last about 1,800 cycles before noticeable degradation starts to show. Tesla's sodium-ion design is expected to nearly double that lifespan, pushing close to 4,000 cycles. That means a battery that could last not just years but decades. Think about it. A car that you buy once and keep for 20 or even 30 years without worrying about the battery dying. That kind of shift completely changes the economics of electric vehicle ownership. Charging is just as eye-catching. With lithium-ion batteries, you are probably used to waiting around 35 minutes for a 0-80% to 80 charge on a fast charger. Tesla's sodium-ion cells? Early data points to about 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes to get back on the road. Combine that with a 50 kilowatt hour pack, and the Tesla Model 2 could realistically achieve 500 kilometers of range per charge compared with about 420 kilometers from the same capacity in lithium ion. In other words, you drive farther, you charge faster, and you keep that performance for much longer. Temperature tolerance is another overlooked advantage. These sodium ion cells are projected to work reliably from negative 40 all the way up to 60 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, lithium ion chemistry starts to struggle outside of negative 20 to about 45 degrees. For anyone living in freezing Canadian winters or scorching desert summers, that difference is not just convenient, it is critical. So how exactly is Tesla pulling this off? The secret lies in a more stable electrolyte combined with improved cathode materials. In the cold, sodium ions move more easily than lithium so the battery does not slow down. In the heat, the materials resist breaking down, which keeps the pack safe and efficient, even at very high temperatures. And then there is the cost. By cutting about 20-30% to 30 off production compared with lithium-ion, Tesla could bring the price of a 50 kilowatt hour sodium ion pack down to roughly $4,200 to $6,000 compared with $6,000 to $7,500 for a comparable lithium ion pack. That reduction alone could push the Tesla Model 2 sticker price down from around $25,000 to an estimated $20,000 to $22,000. Suddenly, owning a Tesla becomes not just a dream, but a reality for millions of everyday buyers while still leaving Tesla a healthy margin. Put all of this together and it is easy to see why insiders at Fremont are calling sodium ion the battery that outclasses lithium on every meaningful front. For the Tesla Model 2, 
It means a car that goes farther, charges in minutes, lasts twice as long and costs less to build. That is a combination no other electric vehicle on the market has reached yet. So here's my question for you. Would you actually consider sodium ion when buying the Model 2 or even replacing the battery in your current EV? Comment the word sodium if you are on board, or drop your alternative choice and tell us why. Now let's talk about what Elon Musk has not revealed about sodium ion just yet. Despite Musk regularly highlighting lithium ion and even aluminum ion developments, sodium ion technology has been almost completely absent from his public discussions. No mentions at investor day presentations, no Twitter updates. But according to Fremont Insiders, Tesla is already quietly testing a 60 kilowatt hour sodium ion pack designed specifically for the Model 2 and built for mass production. Early test data suggests that this pack can sustain continuous power output of around 120 to 150 kilowatts without overheating. That would allow the Model 2 to easily maintain highway speeds while using fast charging stations efficiently. Even more impressive, the chemistry seems to hold strong under repeated fast charging cycles. The cells maintain stable performance even after thousands of charges, far beyond what standard lithium-ion packs can do before serious degradation sets in. Range projections for this 60 kilowatt hour pack show that it could provide consistent distance per charge in real-world driving conditions, particularly in city stop-and-go traffic where efficiency usually takes a hit. This makes it even more appealing for urban drivers who need reliability in unpredictable traffic. Of course, no breakthrough is perfect. Thermal management remains one of the biggest challenges. High output and ultra-fast charging generate significant heat, and early prototypes reveal that cell temperatures can rise above 60 degrees Celsius under peak loads. Tesla's engineers are reportedly experimenting with advanced liquid cooling channels and modified cell arrangements to evenly dissipate that heat, ensuring voltage stability and preventing any capacity loss over time. These improvements are designed to allow the battery to operate safely across a wide range of conditions, from extreme cold to blistering heat, without compromising charging speed or lifespan. And while the spotlight has been on sodium, we have also uncovered equally compelling work with aluminum ion chemistry. In fact, here on Torque Element, we recently dug deep into how aluminum could change the game for Tesla in different ways. If you are curious, definitely check that one out after this video. So what does the future hold for sodium ion batteries? Looking ahead, this technology is shaping up to be a central pillar of Tesla's EV strategy. According to Insider Projections, Tesla plans to scale production of 60 kilowatt hour sodium ion cells at both Fremont and possibly Giga Shanghai, aiming for tens of thousands of units per month by late 2026. That approach would allow the Tesla Model 2 to benefit from mass production efficiencies early on while maintaining consistent quality across every single pack. Cost projections suggest that as Tesla optimizes its supply chain and leverages the fact that sodium is far more abundant than lithium, the per-pack cost could drop significantly compared with current solutions. Early modeling estimates place the 60-kilowatt-hour pack at roughly $4,500 to $5,500 when production ramps up, with potential further reductions to as low as $4,000 to $4,500 within the next two to three years. This kind of pricing could enable Tesla to introduce the Model 2 at a competitive entry-level price that undercuts many current lithium-ion EVs, giving Tesla a massive advantage in both cost and adoption. Tesla is also reportedly considering incremental increases in cell size and energy density for future lines, which could let them scale up to 75 or even 80 kilowatt-hour packs without a major redesign of the production line. That flexibility in the production plan means Tesla could respond quickly to demand spikes or regional market needs while continuing to refine the chemistry and the manufacturing process. If successful, this strategy would not only secure the sodium ion battery as a cornerstone of Tesla's mass market vehicles, but also put serious pressure on competitors who remain dependent on lithium or other chemistries. In short, Tesla could cement its technological lead for years to come. At the end of the day, Tesla's move into sodium ion is less about chasing flashy headlines and more about securing the next decade of EV dominance. The numbers suggest a turning point is coming and 2026 could be the year this hidden project finally steps into the spotlight.
So here is the real question I want to leave you with. If Tesla can actually deliver a sub $20,000 EV powered by a sodium ion pack, will legacy automakers even have a chance to compete? Drop your thoughts below because we read every single one of them. And if you have made it this far into the video, chances are you have enjoyed hanging out with us here at Torque Element. So why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? The next leak, the next insider update, or the next big breakthrough could drop any day now, and you are going to want to be right here with us when it does.